Hello, I am, my name is Austin and I'm here to show you this GitHub usage report viewer that I've built. Um, it's located on github.com under this domain, austinstone.github.io forward slash github actions usage report. You can, you first need to obtain a usage report from a GitHub instance. Uh, that could be a enterprise or an organization. This little purple button here, download your usage report, will help you get to where you need to be. Uh, my enterprise name is Octodemo, and I just type that in here, and then I'll click Navigate, and it brings me over to the, the billing page. You can also get here manually by going to your enterprise settings under billing, and you can get your usage report. So I recommend getting it for the last 180 days, and it will arrive in your email shortly. And once you've, you've got that usage report, you can actually uh, upload it here. So it should look something like this, a CSV file. You can see it's parsing the file. This might take longer depending on the size of your usage report and uh, how fast your machine is. All of this processing is happening locally on your browser. Your usage report doesn't get sent anywhere. Um, but once we've uh, uploaded the usage report, we get some charts and graphs that help us understand the usage, right? So let's just start at the top and go down. There's a little export button. If you would like to export this, it'll export an HTML file. Um, this is a more static page that you could email or send to a colleague, for example. Uh, but it's even better if you have the usage report itself because this web page has more JavaScript that's interactive and stuff like that. So um, you can do things like choose the date range for the usage report. So it's going to be all 180 days by default, but maybe you wanted to select a specific week. You could se select the beginning and end date. And now all of the usage is relevant to that date range. We're going to reset that here. Um, you could also filter by workflow if you need to. Um, and then oh, th this is more important. Uh, you can actually have everything in cost, like in dollars, or you can click minutes and everything would be in minutes instead, right? I think a cost is a better way for us to understand usage because these larger runners and things cost a lot more than a standard runner. And usually people are in here to see what, what costs them the most, right? So we're on the action section right now. There is a shared storage and copilot. We'll get there in a second. Um, first, you can, you can group this table by different categories. So runner is default, but maybe you want to look by, by repository, which repository is costing me the most. Um, maybe you want to look by workflow. Looks like the CodeQL, anal CodeQL analysis is the biggest consumer for this um, organization, even by user if you'd like. The Pendabot is uh, the biggest user. So let's go back to repo, for example. This table is showing you the number of runs, GitHub Action workflow runs, the average cost per run, uh, total cost for the entire usage um, report. So this is gonna be multiple months, but uh, you can also look on a per month basis, right? So this is July of 2023, August of 2023, et cetera. Uh, and then the totals are always at the bottom you could view multiple if you need to. You could do more per page. You can paginate through. Uh, down below, you have more charts. This is a great chart, similar um, thing we're showing here, right? Cost over time. Right now, we're aggregating on a 30-day. This is like a rolling 30-day average. You could, um, maybe you want to see on a day-by-day, -day, you know, what does our usage look like? Or on a week-by-week -week basis. I think the best would be a rolling average. This helps you understand generally what your usage looks like on a 30 day basis. Um, you can also click over here. You know, maybe the Ubuntu 2 is taking up too much of your graph. You could click to turn it off and filter them out. This can help you get to those other items. Um, you can also group differently. So right now I'm based on runner. So this is Ubuntu, but maybe I want to do repo. You can see the deleted repositories uh, was using a lot until it actually got fully removed. Um, looks like this dinner repository is using a lot and that's continuing to grow and maybe we should check that out. 
So lots of uh, good information here. You can also um, go in on a spe specific section by like highlighting. Now you can see just this, you can zoom into a specific period of time if you'd like. Uh, then down here, we just have some other nice to have graphs, cost by username, cost by runner type, top 10 repos by cost. You can get a lot of this information from the stuff above, but uh, outside of this, um, there's another filter here. Let's say I wanted to look for things that had gas in the name. You can see all of these have gas, all the repos. Uh, that can be helpful to filter even farther. Um, we also have shared storage here. So this is something that's difficult to understand. Where is my shared storage located? This can help you understand um, number of artifacts uh, and then you know the cost. So it looks like this has some pretty large artifacts in it because there's only 49, but it's costing a decent amount. Um, yeah, gas alerts is definitely consuming more shared storage than the other repositories. But you can see your shared storage over time. Maybe you want to look at the total shared storage instead of each repo individually. Similar functionality in the table. There's also Copilot. Um, if you have an enterprise with multiple organizations, you can see each individual organization's copilot cost month over month. So that might be helpful to some customers. So yeah, this is just like a, a nice to have uh, way for you to visualize some of the, 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 the cost of GitHub Actions and other services. Anything that's located in a usage report. Um, would love your feedback. Also keep in mind, uh, this is open source. It's you can get to the source code. Uh, so if you'd like to fork my project and modify it in some way, uh, would would love to see um, people make suggestions and improve upon this. Uh, we're all hosted on on GitHub GitHub Pages. So um, yeah, hopefully this helps you in some way. Either find where your usage is or help you manage your cost. Uh, thanks. Uh, enjoy the product.